today's lecture. Uh, today we are starting a bit earlier because of your last class as it wasn't, you know, happened. That's why we are starting earlier. Uh, can you see my screen, my student? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So uh, if you remember, um, you know, in the last class we have studied the steam power plant you know in the steam power plant we studied the there are main four in, in main four components one is boiler uh, you know then it is turbine then the third one is the the condenser and the fourth one is the feed pump so these four are main components of the steam power plant then we studied that boiler what is boiler sir boiler is the vessel where we produce steam. Boiler is that vessel where we produce steam. Um, you know, we also studied there are two types of boiler. One is the fire tube boiler. Another one is the water tube boiler. In the fire tube boiler, uh, the water flow inside the tube. Okay. And uh, in the fire tube boiler, the hot gas inside the tube and the water is outside the tube. So today we will we will continue over that lecture, and uh, we will today we will see some you know some of the other components of uh, the boiler. Remember, my student, um, in a steam power plant, the boiler is the main part because it generates steam. Okay, it generates steam, and in by using steam, we basically rotate our turbine. So that's why the operation of boiler is very, very important. So there are some other component that is required to you know, run the boiler properly. So we can divide, um, we can divide the uh, components into two parts. One is mountings, another one is accessories. One is mountings, another one is accessories. So uh, these two things are, you know, we can separate the components into different two categories. One is mountings, one is accessories. So what is mountings mean? Mountings are those component, are those component who are directly connected with the boiler. Mountings are those component which are basically used to run the boiler properly and also directly connected with the boiler. But what about accessories? So accessories sir, are other component, sir, um, some other components, those are basically indirectly connected with the boiler. Indirectly, not directly connected, but the indirectly connected to the boiler to run the boiler efficiently. Okay, so these are the main difference between what is mountings and what is accessories. Remember my student, one is the mountings. Mounting is means it is directly connected inside or outside, but directly connected with the boiler and accessories are indirectly connected. Okay. So all those things basically help a boiler to operate properly. So that is the main there go. Okay. Uh, first of all, we will, we will see some of the boiler mountings. Okay. Uh, first thing, uh, you know, this slide or this topic is very easy. I'm just helping you. Uh, to understand these topics, you just, you know, read one time, it will be very easy. Some of the mountings and some of the accessories. First one is suppose the water level indicator. There is a water level indicator uh, inside the boiler. Okay, so, and the, what is the function? The function of this water level indicator is to indicate the water level inside the boiler drum. You know, we all know that in the boiler, basically it is full of water. But at certain time, at certain time, the boiler, you know, produce steam and it might be, you know, uh, you know, less water in the boiler, but there should be a safety level that on that level, suppose this is that this is the level below this, the water, when the water is below the, this level, it is not safe for the boiler. So we have to detect that water level to fill the boiler again. So when the water level reach this level, 
when the water reached this level, uh, it gives the signal, and the, then the using pump we refill the boiler again using water. Okay, so this purpose is served by water level indicator. So my student, you see, uh, the water level indicator is a boiler mounting. Why? Because it is directly connected or inside the boiler. The water level indicator is a mountings because it is directly connected inside the boiler. So that's why it is mountings. And what is the function of this? The function of this water level indicator is to indicate the water level, to detect the water current level. In Bengali, the water level indicator is called mountings. We have mountings and accessories. The mountings and accessories are the part of the component. The boiler is directly connected. Directly. That means the boiler is inside or outside directly connected. That's why we have mountings. But the component is the boiler is connected indirectly. Boiler guy and now it's by boiler better on about boiler is at a connected corner gonna mad to me the other camera will be hollow boiler accessories can go indirectly connected but mountings and accessories are both useful for boiler to run properly efficiently okay so water level indicator is a mountings in Bengali water level indicator that a mountings current key it a boiler a bit or a take a boiler it is a water level as a funny level to ठीक है सर पानी रुच्चे तक आता टुकड़ा से बट तो माने शेठा डिटेक्ट करा जो ना हम वाटर लेवल बेवहार करें सो इसे माउंटिंग्स सो माय स्टूडेंट वी मूव फॉरवर्ड वी सी अ सेफ्टी वाल्व वी सी अ सेफ्टी वाल्व दिस इज यू नो जस्ट लाइक आई थिंक दैट ऑल ऑफ यू नो प्रेशर कुकर इन यू नो एट द टॉप ऑफ द प्र becomes so much so it release the pressure of a pressure cooker so in boiler also there are some safety valves which also serves the same purpose if the suppose because you know we are producing a steam so much steam inside the boiler so when the steam pressure inside the boiler exceeds the limit that means when the pressure is so much so you know if it continuous eh, continuously you know try to increase the pressure at after some time the boiler might damage or explode so to prevent that damage you know this safety valve basically release some of the extra steam for reducing the pressure okay so it is attached basically with the steam chest that means uh, you know along with the boiler body okay so this is mountings or accessories this is mountings because it is directly connected with the boiler directly connected just with the boiler body so that's why safety valves are boiler mountings in bengali safety valve gula holo pressure cooker tumra dekhecho pressure cooker e mathar upor eta valve er moto thake jokhon pressure bere jay tokhon dekhba je extra steam bhetor theke ki pressure ta release kore dey so thik similarly safety valve oi rokom jokhon তোমাদের বয়লারের ভেতরে আমরা স্টিম তৈরি করছি যখন এটা প্রেসারটা খুব বেশি হয়ে যাবে মানে করে অনেক বেশি পরিমাণে স্টিম তৈরি হচ্ছে তখন এই সেফটি বালগুলো ওপেন হয়ে কি এক্সট্রা স্টিমটা কে কি রিলিজ করে দেয় সো দিস ইজ দা সেফটি বাল্ব মাই স্টুডেন্ট সেফটি বাল্ব ইজ অলসো আ মাউন্টিংস ওকে সো উই মুভ ফরওয়ার্ড উই মুভ ফরওয়ার্ড ইন দা মেইন টাইম মাই স্টুডেন্টস আই উইল রিকোয়েস্ট অল অফ মাই স্টুডেন্ট টু গিভ ইওর রোল ইন দা চ্যাট বক্স एवरीवन please give your role your role in uh, to our zoom chat box okay okay next uh, we are moving to the next slide it is a fusible plug a plug and what is the function you see the function of this fusible plug is to protect the boiler against the damage due to overheating due to overheating for low water level and put off the fire in the furnace of the boiler thus avoid the explosion which may take place due to the overheating of due to the overheating of 
furnace plate what does it means it is it is a plug type of component the main function is that when we are giving heat when when we are giving extreme heat to the boiler and the boiler water level is very low the water level is very low so that amount of heat you know might overheat the boiler might overheat the boiler so it the temperature inside the boiler becomes so much so it might explode the boiler due to the high very high temperature the boiler might explode but what is fusible plug the fusible plug at that time put off the fire it put off the furnace you know it it close up the burning of the fuel so for that the no extra heat are added <laughs> so fusible plug is that component my student that it basically close the fire of the furnace so when when it close the fire suppose the boiler water level is water is low and we are giving so much heat so at that time the temperature inside the boiler is becomes so much so there are some sensors inside that which measures the temperature and wait it exceeds that temperature the fusible plug basically put off the fire put off means you close the fire okay so that is the purpose of fusible plug and this is also a mounting my student because it is inside the boiler and it is directly connected with the boiler operation okay so in bengali fusible plug holo ekta component jeta holo agun bondho kore dey boiler e amra বয়লারের ফার্নেসে যেটা আমরা চুল্লি বলি সেই চুল্লিতে যেখানে আমরা ই পোড়াই ঠিক আছে কয়লা বা গ্যাস যেটাই হোক যেটাকে আমরা পোড়াই সেটা হলো কি একটা সময় সার্টেন সময় যদি মনে করো বয়লারের ভিতরে পানি কমে যায় তখন আমরা সেই আগের পরিমাণ যদি আমরা হিট দিতে থাকি তাহলে কি বয়লারের ভিতরে তাপমাত্রা অনেক বেশি বেড়ে যাবে এবং অতিরিক্ত তাপমাত্রা কি বয়লার ব্রাস্ট করতে পারে সো ওই কারণে ওই ক্ষেত্রে বয়লারকে তখন কি করা হয় ওই ক্ষেত্রে ফুজিওর প্লাগ তখন আমাদের আগুনটা বন্ধ করে দেয় যাতে কোন প্রকার বাইরে থেকে এক্সট্রা হিট ভেতরে না ঢুকতে পারে এবং এই কারণে ফুজিবল প্লাগ কিন্তু যেহেতু ডিরেক্টলি বয়লারের সাথে কানেক্টেড বা বয়লারের ভেতরে কানেক্টেড এর জন্য এটা কি একটা মাউন্টিংস সো মাই স্টুডেন্ট ফুজিবল প্লাগ ইজ অলসো এ মাউন্টিংস বিকজ ইট ইজ ডিরেক্টলি কানেক্টেড উইথ দ্য বয়লার অপারেশন সো ইন দিস ওয়ে সিমিলারলি देयर আর সাম अदर কম্পোনেন্টস মাই স্টুডেন্ট ইউ সি ওয়ান ইজ প্রেসার গজ you can see the pressure gauge gauge is a you know measuring machine the function of this gauge is to measure the steam pressure inside the boiler drum and indicates whether it is safe zone or not okay so basically what is pressure gauge pressure gauge is basically used for measuring the pressure inside the boiler we measure the pressure what is the current pressure value inside the boiler it is you know measured by the pressure gauge so for that for that pressure gauge we can call it a mountings because it is inside the boiler to measure the pressure pressure cooker uh, sorry pressure gauge amra ekta amader mountings karon ki eta diye amra ki boiler er bhitore pressure ki obostha eta amra measure korte pari boiler er bhitore pressure ke ei jonno ki বয়লারের ভেতরে কিন্তু এই মেশিনটা লাগানো থাকতে হবে এটা একটা মিটারিং মিটারের মতো প্রেসার মিটারের মতো যেটা থেকে কি আমরা প্রেসার বের করতে পারি সো এটা একটা মাউন্টিংস মাই স্টুডেন্ট অ্যানাদার কম্পোনেন্ট ইজ স্টিম স্টপ ভালভ অর জাংশন ভালভ স্টিম স্টপ ভালভ অর জাংশন ভালভ স্যার উইচ ভালভ ইট ইজ ইট ইজ এ ভালভ উইচ বেসিক্যালি ওয়েন ইট ইজ ওপেন when this valve open the steam can flow when this valve close the steam stops steam cannot flow okay so it is a junction valve so this valve is basically situated between a boiler and steam turbine boiler and steam turbine so what is the function the function is to control the flow of steam from boiler to the main steam pipe that means it controls the steam flow when it is stopped the when the valve is closed the steam cannot flow to the steam pipe that means which pipe is connected to the 
steam turbine another one when the valve is open the steam flow can happen and also to shut off the steam completely when you require that means when we need to stop the steam turbine when we need to stop the steam turbine completely you know we just close this valve so there is no steam flow to the turbine so the turbine reduces its speed and after some times it becomes stopped so the steam stop valve has two you know operation one is it regulates the amount of steam flow and it can also shut down the overall steam operation in bengali steam valve ঠিক আছে steam valve ta ki kore sir boiler theke ki poriman steam amar flow korbe eta ke kintu she niyontron kore open ba kholar madhye thik ache ar ekta holo ki it shut down jokhon amar ei turbine ta bondho korar proyojon hobe tokhon eta ki amra completely bondho kore dibo and it got shut down steam flow jokhon bondho hoye jabe tokhon ke aste aste turbine ta ki slow hote hote ekta certain time pore jokhon steam ar flow korbe na tokhon ki automatically eta ki aste aste bondho hoye jabe so it is this is also a mountings my student this steam stop valve is also a mountings we are we are talking about mountings and accessories whatever we studied till now the water level indicator the next one is safety valve the third one is fusible plug the fourth one is pressure gauge the fifth one is steam stop valve so all these are boiler mountings and what i oh, know uh, why these are mountings because these are directly connected with the boiler operation these are directly connected okay uh next is blow off cock this is the blow off cock this is another uh, opening or you can say valve this is another opening or you can say valve uh, suppose uh, it is a boiler chamber you know this is you know basically at at the bottom this is the opening at the bottom so when the water chamber requires to you know suppose we need to make this chamber empty so basically we open this blow off cock that means this is we open this and from this line all the water goes outside and also in some times uh, to clean inside the boiler to clean inside the boiler we need to remove all the water we need to remove all the water so at that time we just open the blow off cock okay at the <sighs> blow off cock at that time you just open the blow off cock and all the water comes outside okay so in bengali the blow off cock ta holo eta isher moto je eta baltir niche eta chidro je sir jokhon amar baltir bhitore pani ta ke shorai felte hobe ba baltir bhitore pani ta khali korte hobe tokhon eta ami khule dile ki pani gulo sob ber hoye jabe tokhon ami kono maintenance hok ba porishkar kora hok ba thik ache je kono prokar maintenance hok ba cleaning purpose e ki inspection purpose e amra tokhon boiler er bhitore kaj korte hobe kon pani thakle to amra kaj korte hobo na so this is also a mounting my student blow off cock it is also a mountings okay at last but not the least last but not the least that is feed check valve feed check valve the function of a feed check valve is it controls the supply of the water flow of a boiler that means in a boiler my student this is boiler and we take water from the pump from water from pump we provide water to the boiler okay so this feed check bulb is situated here i take one another color so you can understand this feed check bulb is situated here so when because the boiler is situated in the upside you know at the top 
and the pump is at the bottom. So when we pass the water from pump to boiler, so it is a valve of one way valve. So this valve only opens into this side, only opens into the upward side. This is a one way valve. This is something like, uh, you know, suppose this is a valve, this, only, this will only open to this side. When you push from the other side, it will be closed. It will be closed. It can only open into one way. Okay, so this is a check bulb. It controls the supply of water to the boiler. So using this valve, when the pump push the water, this valve open and the water goes inside the boiler. But when the water try to push back, the valve becomes closed and the water cannot flow outside the boiler. So that is the main function. It, it cannot, it prevent the escape of water. It prevent the escape of water. In Bengali, the check bulb is not going to be able to do that. So, this is a check bulb. So, feed check bulb is also a boiler mountings, my student. Okay. So, these are the boiler mountings. Now I will tell my students, uh, my other students, that if you have any question regarding these boiler mountings, uh, you can ask me. Do you have any question regarding these boiler mountings? These four, seven boiler mountings? Any question you can ask me, my student. Sir, boiler mountings take inside boiler take and outside. Do you take the correct? Exact, exact outside of connect or take the body by inside of take the body, but directly connected. Okay, Do you have any questions, my student? Shohaib Gedi, roll 28. Do you have any question? No, sir, today. <laughs> no, sir, you understand properly? Yes, sir. Okay. My other student, if you have any question regarding boiler mountings, you can ask me because after that I will move to boiler accessories. So then you can understand the, you know, the difference. Okay, I, I, uh, I, think, I think that you have no question right now, but uh, if you face any question, you can definitely ask after the class or, or in the next class, probably tomorrow, day after tomorrow. Okay, and in the meantime, uh, during the class, I also speak in Bengali for my Bengali student. So I will request uh, my foreign students to take this uh, as a, you know, cooperatively because, you know, uh, for Bengali students is, is very easy to understand in Bengali language. And uh, yeah, it's, it will be also very easy for you to understand in the Somali language. But if I know the Somali language, then it was possible. I'm sorry for that, uh, but please uh, take it, co you know, cooperatively. Okay. Uh, another one is, you know, the now the boiler accessories. My student boiler accessories. You can understand. I, I already told you that so these are the components. These are the components which are basically connected, which are basically connected. A separate component, not exactly inside the boiler, but a separate component which is basically connected to the boiler indirectly and it helps the boiler to run efficiently, okay? So the, those mountings are basically used for, you know, a boiler to run properly and efficiently inside the boiler and just connected. But this is connected indirectly, this accessory, and this is a totally separate component, separately run component and connect it with the boiler indirectly and it also helps the boiler to run efficiently. So there are mainly four components. There are some other components, but mainly four components. One is feed pump. One is feed pump. Okay, so it is basically used to deliver water. We all know that we use pump to deliver water, to transfer water 
from you know condenser to boiler so if we do not supply water from condenser to boiler the boiler cannot produce steam so that's why that's why the feed pump is used it is used to deliver water to the boiler and the pressure of the feed pump is 20 percent more than that in the boiler yes because due to high pressure it create high pressure to transfer water from condenser to boiler so boiler for the boiler this feed pump is not you know inside the boiler but it's connected it is connected and it helps the boiler to run properly so that's why the feed pump is one of the accessories for the boiler my student as it is one of the main component but still it is one of the accessories for boiler because it helps the boiler it helps the boiler to run efficiently okay the second the second is a superheater you can see superheater so superheater what does superheater means superheater my student before learning the superheater remember there are three types of steam one is you can you can take notes from in uh, with your notebook one is weight steam in the next class we will explain details one is weight steam second one is dry steam and the third one is there are three stages of steam the first one is weight steam the second why uh, you know uh, stage is the dry steam and the third one the third one is the superheated steam superheated steam my students super sh i write sh one is weight steam the second one is dry steam and the third one is superheated steam so when at first the steam becomes wet after that if we give more heat then it becomes dry then if we if you continue to give heat it becomes superheated so superheated is the third category is steam which temperature is much more okay so basically what is superheater superheater is basically used to make steam superheated basically to make superheated steam we use superheater okay as i already told there are three types of steam one is wet steam one is dry steam the third one is superheated steam so to make superheated steam the superheater is basically used it is basically you know uh, you know heat chamber where the steam is given much more heat so it becomes superheated steam and remember my student why superheated steam is necessary why because the superheater is to raise the temperature of the steam to temperature steam the steam of uh, you know temperature to raise we use superheater and why the superheated steam is important you know what are the advantage advantage first advantage is that superheated steam has increased capacity to work due to high heat contact because we we know that my student when the steam temperature is much more when the steam temperature is much more you know the atom the atom begins to move very fastly their kinetic energy becomes much more okay so which basically they basically force the turbine with much more force okay so that's why superheated steam is you know, has increased capacity the capacity of work the capacity of work basically to to rotate the turbine it has increased capacity of the superheated steam because the temperature of the system is very high so when the temperature is very high the atom becomes you know much more uh, movable they move each other very fastly so they force the turbine with a greater force so this is one advantage second is you know the superheated steam raises the overall efficiency of the plant the overall efficiency becomes you know greater why because you know when the steam becomes and you know, a superheated the ca overall capacity of work is also becomes higher so that means output we are getting more output so what is efficiency efficiency is basically output divided by input the ratio of output and input so when the 
output is get greater the efficiency is also greater so basically it gives us much more efficiency the third one is the superheated steam the superheated steam averages the erosion erosion means you know uh, the erosion in bengali it is khoi you know the damage of boiler blade because the boy, the turbine blade the turbine blade are basically made of metal different types of metal so when when steam in the wet steam it is it has some water particle okay but when the superheated steam it is there is no water particle there is only steam dry fully dry steam fully dry steam so that superheated steam has no water particle so it cannot react with the boiler blade or metal it cannot react with the boiler blade so it cannot damage the boiler blade okay so it basically avoids the erosion of the turbine blades into the large stage of expansion of the steam in order to avoid boiler erosion it is desirable to limit the moisture content to 12% that means when the steam flow when the steam flow it is very less amount of water particle for the water superheated steam very less you know hardly so that superheated steam the boiler or the turbine blade you know the erosion it removes the erosion cannot happen for the superheated steam so that's why the turbine are last longer the turbine last longer okay so in bengali the superheated steam er bhitore jehetu khub khubi alpo porimane water particle thake to turbine er blade jehetu metal diye toiri eta gaye ki jokhon ei eta ki she oi je bikriya korte pare na bikriya kore ei turbine er blade gula ki jehetu water part e diye toiri tomar onno kono metal diye toiri so jate khoy na hoy ei karone ki superheated steam byabohar kora hoy so these are the efficient uh, you know efficiency or these are the advantages for the superheated steam yet what is the purpose of superheater so the purpose of superheater is to make superheated steam so this is a kind of accessories because this is not directly um, connected this is a separate component so this is accessories my student one is feed pump second we study that is superheated superheater okay okay uh, the third one is economizer in the last class we also saw the economizer economizer and uh, what is the purpose of economizer it is a very special purpose very special purpose what is because we know that uh, my student remember uh, there are two thing happens one is when the in the boiler hot gas that means hot gas flow and the water becomes steam but that hot gas is still it is so much you know high temperature it has so that is full of heat so if we remove to the this uh, high temperature you know air into the atmosphere we are losing heat energy we are losing heat energy so we need to we need to keep this heat energy okay so to keep this heat energy one is the way of economizer economizer is the chamber my student economizer is a chamber where in the one side the hot gas flow the hot gas flow after the boiler after boiler the hot gas flow and on the other side you know from the condenser the water the feed pump you know from the condenser from the condenser the feed pump basically transfer water from condenser to boiler so the feed water the water flow within the chamber also so when the this you know intersection happens the what the heat from the hot gas to the boiler water transfer the heat basically transfer from hot gas to feed pump water okay so feed pump water now becomes much more you know heated so we less we require less fuel to make it steam now we require less fuel to steam so basically which improves the overall efficiency overall the efficiency my student uh in bengali the economizer jeta holo je dekho dui ta chinta koro ekta holo je boiler er bhitore jokhon amra oi je burn kori fuel ke burn kore je hot gas utpanno kori 
ওইটাকে দিয়ে কি আমরা বয়লার থেকে স্টিম তৈরি করি তাই না কিন্তু স্টিম তৈরি করার পরও যে গ্যাসটা থাকে ওইটার তাপমাত্রা কিন্তু অনেক ওইটা আমরা বাতাসে ছেড়ে দেওয়ার আগে যেটা করব ইকোনোমাইজার চেম্বারে ভেতর দিয়ে ফ্লো করাই আর এটা হলো কনডেন্সার থেকে যে পানিটা আমরা বয়লারে ঢোকাবো ওই পানিটা আমরা এই চেম্বার দিয়ে ফ্লো করাই তাহলে কি হবে ওই উচ্চ চাপ থেকে কি কিছু তাপ কি আমার পানির ভিতরে ঢুকে যাবে তাহলে পানিটাকে আগের থেকে বেশি গরম হয়ে ঢুকবে বয়লারে সো আমার কিন্তু ওই পানিকে বাষ্পে পরিণত করতে কিন্তু কম ফুয়েল লাগবে কম জ্বালানি লাগবে তার মানে কি আমার ওভারঅল এফিসিয়েন্সি কি বেশি থাকবে ইট ইমপ্রুভস দা ওভারঅল এফিসিয়েন্সি যেহেতু আমার কম ফুয়েল লাগতেছে সো কম আমার ইনপুটে কি আমি আউটপুট পাচ্ছি বেশি সো এই কারণে কি আমার ওভারঅল এফিসিয়েন্সি বেশি সো দ্যাটস হোয়াই মাই স্টুডেন্ট দা ইকোনোমাইজার ইজ এ চেম্বার হোয়ার দা হিট এক্সচেঞ্জ হ্যাপেন্স বিটুইন হট গ্যাস এন্ড ফিড ওয়াটার সো फ्रॉम হট গ্যাস দা হিট এক্সচেঞ্জ फ्रॉम গ্যাস টু ওয়াটার so when the water is much more heated so we need less we need low amount of fuel so when it is low input you know bigger output the efficiency is also improving so that's why you see it reduces the consumption of fuel the low fuel and it also improves the boiler efficiency so this is the purpose of economizer so this is also not inside the boiler but you know connected indirectly or the boiler operation properly so that's why it is also accessories my student at last but not the least last but not the least uh, after the economizer the hot gas flow with the air preheater chamber it is also a chamber it is also a chamber my student it is also a chamber so when this hot gas flow and air preheater is used to recover heat from the exhaust flue gas because these are all chambers to keep heat inside the system to recover heat so it is installed between the economizer and the chimney after economizer and before chimney it is you know basically used or uh, situated so what is the advantage this preheated air gives higher furnace temperature and it results into better combustion of the less smoke it it enables a low grade fuel to be burned with less excess air so so what, what is the purpose of this chamber so the purpose of this chamber is my student when this hot gas go, goes outside the economizer so it flows in this air preheater chamber and also one more thing the air normally we take for the boiler from the atmosphere so there the temperature is normal temperature so that air is also taken from here that air is also taken from here okay so you know that air is also taken from here so from these two it has higher temperature so the hot flue gas gives more temperature the hot flue gas gives more temperature okay and this air that the the inside air the air which is going to be burned the inside air takes more heat from that exhaust air basically this is the exhaust air after that it will go to the chimney and it will go to the environment so from the exhaust air the inside intake air it takes heat and goes into the furnace so we need now we need less amount of also fuel and the burning becomes also very you know less smoke or less ash you can the better combustion that means the burning becomes also very good so this is the way of you know making or taking or recovering heat from the system before relieving the chimney before we remove the heat to the chimney because after all because these are the burned gas these are the exhaust gas which should be you know goes outside these are burned gas we cannot recycle this but but these are you know burned gas okay, give me one minute my student
Okay, so this is the also accessories, the air preheater. It is basically the heat exchange, the heat exchange between exhaust gas, that means switch gas or exhaust burn gas, which is going to be outside and the intake air, which we take from the environment to the furnace to burn, okay, to burn. So this is this also a boiler accessories, okay, because it also gives much more efficiency to the overall boiler operation. So uh, these are the boiler accessories, my student, we studied four things. One is economizer, uh, air preheater, uh, feed pump, superheater. These are the boiler accessories, okay, because this is indirectly connected. The boiler mountings, we studied the water level indicator, the safety valve, the fusible plug, the pressure gauze, the steam stop valve, the blow off cock, the feed check valve. So uh, these are the, you know, some other auxiliary components for the uh, boiler operation. So I, I request my other students, if, if you have any question regarding these things, you can ask me. Sir. Please. Sir, first of all, we have to say that the palm is going to go to the palm. We have to say that the palm is going to go to the palm. First of all, we have to say that the palm is going to go to the palm. प्रेशर जो भी बेशी होए तो कौन शाबाबिक थे कि उसको शीतल होए जाए। शाबाबिक थे के प्रेशर किरो कम? से शीतली को नीति टेरो कम सिलो जे कुन एक टा वितर दिए जो दिजो प्रेशर टा बेशी दिए कुनो किसी उतार उल्टा प्रभाव करा को तो कौन शीतल होए जाए जिन इस टा जे रिफ्रिजरेशन जे टा यूज़ होए तो पाम थे के जिसर बॉयल Normally, pressure among issue is to draw no money relations on a pressure among temperature PV cost to key. I'm not In our tea, then I Okay, pressure among top matters at the kitchen pocket of lot of my Yes, sir. That was it about that. So they have she totally got not the body at a inside property water property whatever fluid property, but ultimately Judy I'm a good pressure create court the hobby कारण कि जो दी आमी प्रेशर कन बॉयलर किन्तु प्रेशर क्रिएट कर चुना, आमा के प्रेशर क्रिएट को माने प्रेशर टट तोरी कर चुना मैं की दिए, पाम दिए किन्तु, तय ना आमी पाम दिए प्रेशर टट तोरी कर ची, एवं वो ही कंडेंसर थे के जोखन आमी पानी टा पाम दिए आमी बॉयलर नहीं जावो, बिकॉज़ ये प्रोसेसर माच कने � अमाके बॉयलर स्टीम तोरी कोर्चे एक ओ इटर टोटल हीट तथा मिनीते बारी नहीं फुली अ मिनीते बारी नहीं एक ओ इटर के इंद अल्टीमेट ओ इटर के बांड गैस ऑलरेडी बांड हुए गए से तो ना ऑलरेडी बांड हुए गए से एक ओ इटर के इंद अमियार रीसेकल कोर्टर होना ये जो ओ इटर के कि चीम मिनीते छेड़े दवार � चार पाशे होले वही हॉट गैस टा फ्लो कर रहा है बांड गैस टा माने वो रास्ता दिए तो ले आम्रा शाविक बाबर की हो बे जब आम्रा जब तापे शूत्रो जाने जब ताप की उच्च ताप थे के की निम्बो दिखे की फ्लो करे ना जब उच्च ताप मात्रा बोस्तु थे के की ताप निम्बो ताप मात्रा बोस्तु दे फ्लो करे तो ठीक तो खुन मानो कर जो है तो बार नॉर्मल पानी टेम्परेचर 10 बार 20 डिग्री सेल्सियस आफ्टर इकोनोमाइजर इकोनोमाइजर बेर हॉर्पर इधर टेम्परेचर होएगा लो साइड शॉट तो डिग्री सेल्सियस ऑलरेडी ऑन एक टाइम हीट अप होएगा से तो खुन वही पानी टाइम जो खुन हमी बॉयलर नहीं है जब वो जो खुन हमी हीट अप कर वो तो खुन नॉर्मल पानी इस गॉलन इस फुटरंग को कोतो एक्शन डिग्री सेल्सियस अपने नेक्स्ट क्लास से पोड़ बो इटा फुल्ली एक्शन डिग्री ना निरानों बी दशमिक समथिंग इटा डेटा आसे आर इटा डिपेंड करे लो प्रेशर रूपर माने इजे पानी इस फुटरंग को इटा निर्भर करे प्रेशर रूपर अपने नॉर्मली जिते एक्शन डिग्री माने वन एटमॉस्फेरिक प्रेशर ए ही प्रेशर है तापमात्रा होलो एक्शन डिग्री सेल्सियस किंतु ए ही तापमात्रा टा पूरी बर्तन होए प्रेशर के कारणे तुम्हारे जो भी प्रेशर बेरे जाए तो ए तापमात्रा टा आरो बेरे जाए एवं बॉयलर जो तो प्रेशर बेशी था के ए तापमात्रा टा आरो बेरे जाए तो अपने टक हीट अप
do you have any other questions if you don't have uh, please give your role in the chat box i'm i'm just uh, taking taking everyone's role now we have some urgent work uh, for the department if you have any question you can ask or you can give your role in the chat box i'm taking your role Mm, today is day 27. Today date is uh, 12, 1, 2, 0, 2, 1. Okay, I'm taking the role, role 23, role 7, role 15, role 20, role 28, role 33, role 37, Roll 16, roll 19, roll 13, uh, roll 17, roll 27. Any other student? We have we had 13 student. Everyone has given given a role. My student, everyone given a role. Yes, sir. One, two, yes, three. Sir. Uh, one student rolls 60. Okay, I'm telling the roll one more time. Roll 23, roll 7, roll 15, roll 20, 28, 33, 37, 16, 19, 13, 17, 27. Anyone left? Yes, sir. 37 left, sir. No, no, I have given 37. I have given 37. No, sir. Okay, thank you so much, my student. Uh, um, see you in the next class, okay? I'm giving your, uh, giving this video lecture and, uh, and the class lecture into.